Let's take another look at the state budget now and the impact on every West Australian. The Barnett government has recorded a budget blowout of $2.7 billion, the worst deficit in our history. Power, water and car rego are all heading higher. The average cost to households is an extra $198 a year. We'll also need to pay another $99 on every car for no-fault insurance. And property investors are being slugged by a new land tax between $300 and $500 a year. Seniors' concessions are being means-tested and the age that people can access them is being raised to 65. Tracy Vaux is with some seniors in South Guildford tonight. Tracy, what's the reaction there? Well, Tim, one of growing concern. We were with Stan Evans as he was working his shift as a school traffic warden this afternoon as the state budget was being handed down. We delivered the news. Major, major concerns for him and his wife, Mavis, are the no-fault insurance scheme and also the increase in age, age to access seniors discounts. We get 50% of the basic wage, the very lowest basic wage that they pay, and we get 50% of that, and now they're going to bang 100 bucks on for each licensed vehicle you got. Doesn't seem right to me. $50, $50 would be reasonable, but not 100 You're still working and you're 78, 78 in two weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got to work, otherwise we end up in the gutter. Well, not quite, but it really does help. I mean, it pays our rent for a fortnight, and we've got to pay rent. The state government claims there is uh, some good news. Free, free public transport between 7pm and 6am. 7pm and 6am. We're in bed at that time of night. Oh. We're good citizens. We don't, we don't go around midnight brawling in the street. Aren't we lucky that we're over 65, we're in our 70s? You know, how are people going to manage pensioners? They talk seniors, but you are talking pensioners and seniors. Oh, gee. <laughs> it's tough, isn't it? It is tough. It really is tough out there. Well, for Mavis and Stan, they believe they are very lucky uh, compared to their fellow seniors and pensioners. They have a roof over their heads, but they'll have to continue to just live day by day.